Okay, so now let's get more specific. Let's look at one particular Java library that you can use. And in each one of these, we're gonna do this in two parts. So we're gonna, first we're gonna look at the Java doc a little bit and talk about what the library does. And then we'll write some code together using it, just a small piece. Um, so our first up on the menu today is uh, java.util.random. Um, this is a set of utilities for um, producing pseudo randomness, okay? Why is it pseudo random numbers? Because any uh, library like this can never give you truly random numbers. In order to get true randomness, you would actually have to sample some physical phenomena. But this is the closest that we get in our computer programs, at least the ones that you're gonna write, to true randomness. Um, and so let's look at this. Um, so a lot of this, you know, you're, you're gonna start to understand. You're not gonna understand everything about it yet, but we're getting close. Um, so you can read uh, through this um, and kind of look at, and so here's how to create instances of this class. And then every instance of this class has all of these different instance methods. And this is Javadoc, so we've seen this before. We have the type, return type on the left, we have the name of the method, and then a little bit of a short description. And if you click on the method, like next double, it's gonna take you to a longer description of that method. The, the reason why this is here is to allow you to, again, uh, access randomness in your program. And again, you might wonder like, why would I ever do this? Like, why would I ever want my program to behave randomly? Um, and there's some, but there's some valid reasons for this, right? So let's say you want to, um, you have a program that's, you know, trying to handle multiple people who are waiting and a group has been waiting around the same amount of time and you want to shuffle them so you treat them more fairly or something like that. That's one use of randomness. This turns out to actually be, you know, something that comes up, you know, a fair amount in computer programs where I need some, you know, random piece of information because I'm using it as part of an algorithm. Um, and so random has, as, as part of it, a variety of different, so you create an instance of this random uh, class and then you can do things like have it give you, um, you know, give you a, a double, give you a boolean, give you an int, lots of different types of, of random information that come out of this. So again, one of the things that's available to you as part of the Java standard library that you can use in your programs when you need it.